Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to X Pain 11 and Simply Connect here with our VA connected to the channel. Uh, hello to everybody in the chat, all the mods, members, whoever else is there. Not too many there so far, very quiet this evening. Uh, hello, Anthony Seaworth, Caliwax, Arjun, Curtis Hard, uh, Jahan Deep, Arjun, I can't remember if I just said your name already. Uh, Spade Raver, Glenn Bixley, uh, Glenn B Gaming, hello, hello, Stephen Bradley, hello, hello, hello everyone. So, here we are. We are looking at a new livery for the VA. Simply Connect Airlines has had a bit of a makeover. Uh, some of you might know our standard livery. This is a little bit different. And uh, yeah, I will explain a little bit more about that as we go on throughout the flight. Wow, it just, the weather just refreshed here in Gatwick. Uh, it's rough in it. Hopefully we're going to be allowed to take off. Hopefully you can see where I'm taxiing. Uh, so yeah, so look, um, we will be taking this flight from Gatwick Airport uh, to the world famous Innersbrook Approach. That's what we will be trying to do today. And we'll see how it goes. F1 Racer Dan, hello mate. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Glenn Bixie has become a member for the second month. Uh, thanks, Glenn. I don't know why it does it that way. It's it's, it's very pointless. Uh, but here we go. So we are here on the ground at Gatwick. Can't see a bloody thing. But here we go. Got the lovely ground service out. The fueling truck is out. Um, so look, why don't we get into the cockpit where we can actually see what we're doing and uh, do some bits and pieces. Okay, so look, external power's on, pumps are on. Uh, we're just going to align the ideas. Uh, we're going to emergency lighting, smoking lights, seatbelt signs on. Uh, we will also set up them. They're happy out. Uploading cargo is now loaded. We'll throw in our beacons. Hey, Okay, as that's what we plan to do next. Uh, let's get the toilet screen up. We're going to need this next. Uh, Kurt's hard. Where's Andy? I feel so naked without him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Andy is. It's very quiet in the, in the stream today. Man United are on, so people might have better things to be doing than watching me stream. So, who knows? Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's very quiet today. Very, very quiet. It'll probably get busier as we come into land. Usual stuff. Simply 1025, ready to copy IFR clearance. Why didn't you like it? Simply 1025, ready to copy IFR clearance. Simply 1025, ready to copy IFR clearance. Simply one zero two five is cleared to Lima Oscar Whiskey. Maybe my microphone is gonna be closer. Via the ODVI two Z departure with the Odvic transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway zero eight right. Zero eight right. Climb to flight level one three zero via the departure. Expect higher clearances eight minutes after departure. Squawk six zero zero six. Six zero zero six two five is cleared to Lima Oscar Whiskey India. Climb via the ODVI 2Z departure with the Odvic transition, then as filed. Climb to flight level 130 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 8 minutes after departure. Squawk 6006. Okay, so they've given us permission to go up to 13,000 feet. Read back, correct. Altimeter 3027 contact ground on 121.8 when ready for pushback. Have a nice day. Altimeter 3027 ground on 121.8, simply 1025. Okay, now that we finally know what our transitions and stuff are going to be, we can now look at this. So we are going to load in our flight plan. There we go. Uh, flight number four today is IAG002. Uh, cost index is 46 for today's flight, according to Simbri. And we should be cruising at... Uh, three two zero. There you go. We can align the IRS, and we can do a quick align while we're here as well. Why ever not? Okay, we will go across to the unit B. We'll throw in our weights here. Okay, so fuel for today needs to be uh, six point six. So we'll give ourselves a little bit extra, six point nine, in case we have to go around or two. Actually, we better give ourselves seven just to be on the safe side. Okay, that's fine. Uh, zero fuel weight for today's flight should be around 56. There we go. Just under. Not too much. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. C 
simply 1025 request taxi to runway 08 right simply 1025 taxi okay, that to runway 08 right via taxi Romeo okay so we are 56 slash uh, 29.5 right via oh. taxi ways Romeo Juliet Hold okay. short runway 08 right simply 1025 and our block fuel today is a lovely seven nice and easy there we go go into our flight plans go to the chat very quickly yeah Scott hello mate welcome good news guys my GPU is alive yeah <laughs> I've seen you're very happy I bet uh, nice to be back out there Will James hello mate uh, my first few hours driving a bus what a real bus Okay. Okay, so we will be departing eight right all the way down the end, unfortunately, guys. And uh, they did give us the ODV UZ as our departure for today's flight and uh, transition none. Okay, we'll throw that into our flight plan. Nice. Um, we'll put in the one for our arrival. We will be arriving into two seven. Passengers are on board. What am I about? Fantastic. We are just waiting on the load sheet from ground, and uh, once they've been on board, you can close the doors and we'll get going. Uh, we're going to be doing the RNAV Z. Just wanted to make sure it was the right one. So RNAV Z. There we go. Uh, we should be coming in on the Tusla 3A. That should be the plan. Uh, as we are coming via RTT, so there we go. Um, but yeah, we'll see what they give us later for that. So performance page then. So we're going to be a one. Uh, so one for one. One for one. Uh, one for four. We will be a flaps one departure and flexing to 66 out of Gatwick. Okay, I'm happy with that. The weather is making a bigger turn for the worst here in Gatwick. Okay, we're going to throw on the APU. Uh, make, makes it illegal to handle salmon in suspicious circumstances. <laughs> what? What's all that about? Okay, YouTube's doing its stupidness that it was doing yesterday, so hopefully it all is okay, all is well. Okay, we'll leave that for a second. That's all well and good. APU can start. I wouldn't mishandle something like that. <laughs> Very random. Man, I hope we're going to have better weather conditions coming into Innisbrook, otherwise, it's going to be pretty boring, eh? God, Gatwick is terrible right now. Okay, we'll get the uh, ground handling to drive away. We're done with them. <laughs> Who knew that that was a real thing? Cod is boring. I don't mind cod, but we do prefer salmon if I had to choose. Okay, APU bleed can go on here at this point. Okay, we're going to be pretty good. We're going to turn our ignition on, ready to go. We're good here to uh, probably plan a pushback. Pre plan a pushback. There we go. Round to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Cockpit. Toe is driving up. Oh, that's another at the moment. Yeah, I've got it on record for after the stream. I will watch the game. I won't be doing any recording or anything tonight, probably. So I, I will just watch the game. Hi there. We are pretty much ready to go up here. Yeah? Uh, we've got the load sheets on board. So once everyone's on board, please uh, feel free to close the doors. And uh, we can get going. Okay, great. We're all missed on. 
Okay, disconnecting the jetway. Just waiting for our pushback now, guys. I don't like trout. Trout's too That's bony okay. for my liking. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Yeah, I don't really like bony fish, so trout for me is an, an, an ego, really. Steve, come on, Steve. Simply one zero two five, ready for pushback and engine start. Simply one zero two five, pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved. Simply one zero two five. Okay, we're going to flick on engine number two here. We're going to put this on to standby. EA only. There we go. Nice. Pushback is happening. We will lower to flaps one, ready for takeoff. Can't stand fish at all, but I do like bad fish though. <laughs> then you do like fish. Red snapper. Red snapper is a bottom feeder. It just tastes like mud. Okay, engine one start. Okay guys, flight control, quick check. Everyone's rudders, trim, pitch, everything is looking nice. We won't be uh, hopefully falling out of the sky this evening. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Okay, engine ignition's off, APU bleed can now go off, APU can go off, we'll, they'll be disconnecting in a second, we'll throw on our taxi lights here now at this point guys, everything is looking good, can't see a bloody thing, but yeah, all is good, throw that back into its plan, there we go, long taxi for us today, long long taxi, <laughs> okay, Are they going or what? Taking a sweet ass time. Yeah, so it's really hard to show you delivery as much when it's this, this foggy. <laughs> uh, Radar Robber, hello mate, welcome to the stream. Can't see a bloody thing, but welcome. So I've been like this in Gatwick now for the last two or three days. The last couple of flights I've done from Gatwick has been pretty rough. Okay, park and brake taken off. Let's do our taxi then, guys.
Well, then the old taxi lines as usual. There we go. Man, it's so foggy out here. <laughs> no fighting, guys. No fighting. Okay. Long, long taxi, good old Gatwick. Eight right. Why couldn't we be going from many of the uh, the left, so? Okay, let's have a look at the chat while we're waiting. <laughs> You're still fighting over that. Okay, well, we got a nice straight line for taxi. What we'll do, we'll set our brakes to max. Ground spoilers are all set here now as well. Special lights in a second. Everything else should be looking good. <laughs> yeah, he did. He's also taken me off my uh, my leaderboard on the uh, on the on the virtual airlines. I've also seen to have dropped down a few places, uh, and he seems to have got above me. So, yeah, not happy with that. And I don't mind, but I balls up my own flight earlier this afternoon. So, Okay, nil nil still nice. Okay, we do have to go all the way to the bottom here. That's what they've asked us to do. Simply 1025 contact tower on 124.22. Have a good afternoon. Tower on 124.22, simply 1025. Okay, straight on to automatics. Put our landing lights on now, guys. Set our nose to take off. We will throw on our wings and navs as it is pretty foggy outside. And uh, we will now get our clearance for takeoff. Tower simply 1025 ready for departure runway 08 right. Simply 1025 winds are light and variable cleared for takeoff. Runway 08 right squawk 6006. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 08 right squawking 6006 simply 1025. Uh, yeah, it's foggy. Yeah, it's not, not nice out here this evening. Okay, guys, we, we clear for takeoff. Let's start our roll. Okay, man, flex. Well, that's windy as well. 
Man, this is rough. <laughs> Let me have another check. Really rough tonight, guys. Okay, V1 and rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Positive climb, gear up. Yep. We'll fly our departure out. Not that we can see anything yet. What we should probably do, guys, is uh, we will put on our probe heat, engine anti ice, and wings. Is it pretty rough out here? Okay, down to press climb. Simply one zero two five contact gap with radar director on one one eight point nine or five. Enjoy your afternoon. Radar director Claps on one eight point nine or five. Simply one zero two five. Who do I hit? Radar director simply one zero two five climbing to flight level one three zero. Simply one zero two five. Good afternoon. Squawk six zero zero six. Squawk six zero zero six. Simply one zero two five. Okay, my Pi 2 ATC is frozen, so I can't actually do anything with that. We're still in control as we climb out through the clouds. Simply 1025, slow to 250 knots or less. Okay, guys, let's throw on the autopilot. Disarm the spoilers there. Finally! We can see. Okay, standard pressures. Uh, well, that was bleep bleep. Didn't even feel landing as it gave me a crap landing rate. A cars is not good. <laughs> but you see, my A cars does literally give me exactly the same as uh, whatever the program is I'm using now. So, uh, but hi Richard, hello, welcome. It was at this point that the 737 fell out of the sky last night after I spent 40 minutes setting it up. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing worse than that. That's terrible. Okay, so I'm a bit concerned about Pi 2 ATC that's died. Um, anyways. Who knows what will happen with that. There you go, we're climbing out of London. I'm heading over to Innisbrook, where we will be doing the 26 Arnav arrival. Now, it will be a straight in, I'm not doing the loop. Um, some people might not like that, but yeah, that's just the way it is. <laughs> but hello to everyone that's there. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. A bit quieter today than it was yesterday. Obviously, people must like the A330 on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, just want to keep an eye on our climb here. We're going to push our navigation out a bit here. Okay, so the one thing we do want to do now is... Contact London Count Control Center on 118.47. Have a good one. Center on 118.47. Take care, simply 1025. Center simply 1025 at flight level 060, climbing to flight level 130. Simply 1025, good afternoon. Squawk 6006. Squawk 6006, simply 1025. I want to do an Innsbruck landing on the A330. Yeah, 
probably doable. <clears throat> wow. Everything seems to be struggling. <laughs> I need a good 150 here to get myself back in, to keep myself up in the leaderboard on the old, uh... Oh, here we go. This is what I was after. Okay, so we're going to come in at RTT. Uh, so RTT, we have to be at 9,500. Capture the RNAV. So we have to be at full configuration by W1002, I believe. Otherwise, you come in too fast. So, as we descend down to 9,500, we should be... Of the scent. RTT, 9.5. Speeds of 135. So, there you go. We should be at full... Full config by W1002. Uh, YouTube tells me 21 people are watching now. You're telling me 17 are watching. Ah, uh, yeah, look, YouTube is YouTube. Okay, we're waiting to get higher clearance. Okay, so full config by WTT2. Okay, so if we bring this bad boy up, uh, hopefully the weather's going to be better. In uh, Austria, it wasn't too bad this morning when I flew in. I need to just get the Discord up quickly because I need to use the bot. Where is my bot? Uh, no wind. Okay, that's good. Visibility is good. Okay, and no clouds in uh, in Innisbrook this evening, so that's good. It's a good start, isn't it? Okay, so it'll be uh, 1027. A Q and H. Uh, temperature on the ground is a very warm 4 degrees. Zero one. At one for the wind. Uh, the MDA. What's the MDA of this? But it's huge. Uh, LNAV, RNAV, RMP. Two thousand six hundred seventy. Nice. And we will be a full config for landing. Okay, we've just gone above 10,000 feet. Landing lights off. We'll leave the probe on there. There's no big drama. No big dramas at all. Okay, to the chat. Uh, you'll be back there, no worries. The big question is, what does Arjun do when he disappears for half an hour every evening? Eats a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Arjun? <laughs> Apart from eating lots of fish, obviously. <clears throat> Jeez, I hope the fog lifts in Innsbruck. Oh, there's a chance you'll see the runway at 1.5 foot. Yeah, the, the, the meter bot has said there is no clouds and the visibility is 999. So uh, we should be good for the approach. We might get some nice pictures of this stunning new livery, uh, which I kind of wanted to get some nice shots of. Simply 1025 climb and maintain flight level 210. Climb and maintain flight level 210, simply 1025. Okay, climb to 210. Personal pictures takes a while to get through to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs>
Okay, we've got a bit of a journey here, guys. A good one hour, 15 minutes at least, I reckon, from now. Yeah, about that. If we don't fall into any issues. How's the stream running tonight, guys? Is it is it still doing the same things it was doing yesterday, or is it running a little bit better? <laughs> I heard that Robo was on um, OnlyFans, or whatever it's called. We've not checked him out yet, Kurt. Uh, Rob, I don't know, mate. It's probably best you, you don't watch. <laughs> Stream MP. Okay, so it seems to be better. I did lower my uh, bitrate settings a little bit just to see if it helped. Now, on my side, to be fair, it's still spinning and saying nothing, um, but... Yeah, no one said anything yet, so I'm hoping it's uh, running okay. And Kurt, here's a stat for you, mate, you might like. I'm currently only 69 subscribers away from 4,500. I know it's your favourite number. Yeah, because you don't know what it's called. <laughs> the VA is just a secondary site. <laughs> I'm the only fan, yeah. <coughs> That's quite funny. I was actually hoping it wouldn't be so dark when we get there. I'm hoping that there's still going to be some daylight. Otherwise, it'll be pretty mad. <laughs> All subscriptions to stop. What happens when I get to 6,900? Does that... That's where we should stop. If I ever get to 6,000. <laughs> okay. 290. Center on 126.47. Enjoy your afternoon. Center on 126.47. Simply 1025. Uh, agreed. Divert into Glenn Bixley. Well, Glenn Bixley, you, you're doing quite well. You've gone above your 69 now. Uh, Jendidi, becoming a regular watcher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Tomorrow we're back with Omzi. We will be doing a CCS event with a Yorkshire 2. Walk six zero zero six simply one zero two five. Good morning, complete from present position to Moscow, then a car to present position, Glasgow, and then a car to FedEx six two two five. I just realized I'm squawking the wrong number. Simply one zero two five radar contact. They call it the car park in Bansley. <laughs> well, I'll just watch my landing. No fuds or anything. Going to dispute my landing rate. Well, fussed. Even floated down the runway. Yeah, Richard, to be fair, look, I floated at A330 yesterday. I felt like I was robbed yesterday. Absolutely robbed of my landing yesterday. It was smooth as you like. I, I was robbed. For sure. <coughs> no, I think it was using A321. And Jahanadeep, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, we will be back tomorrow with CCS OMSI for Yorkshire 2.0. 
a lot of people might be wondering why we're not using the new West Country 3 map. Uh, the only reason is, is because I'd already organized the event and you can't change what you do for your events. So, yeah, unfortunately I'm stuck with that event tomorrow. Otherwise, we'd love to have done the... Um, love to have done West Country 3. We'd probably have to do that next week. Why are they clearing up to already? Yeah, but look, my subscriptions have slowed down again quite a bit. Even tonight's stream, tonight's stream seems very quiet. What day is it? Wednesday? Thursday? Thursday. <coughs> the super floaty got engaged. <laughs> what speed are you coming in at, Richard? I'll have to watch back your stream in a minute. I can't watch you while I'm doing this, but... Let's have a look. Yeah, like I said, I was robbed yesterday. I didn't come down on a 400 yesterday. I know I was robbed. <coughs> Does anyone in the chat play Anno 1800, by the way? Kurt, no, you're back on your PC. Do you play Anno? No, no, half time. Ugh. Uh, last 28 days, watch time, 187 hours. Is that you? That's good, mate. Steve Mansell, hello, mate. Welcome to the stream. Climb and maintain flight level 320. Climb and maintain flight level 320, simply 1025. Okay, that will be our final cruise altitude for today's flight. Center on 125.0, have a good afternoon. Center on 125.0, simply 1025. Center simply 1025, climbing to flight level 320. Uh, Suburb Media, hello, welcome Center to the stream. 1025, good afternoon. Radar contact. No, I'm not allowed to buy any more Super Games until next month, damn. Yeah, Richard. Well, look, Richard, I didn't FUD yesterday's landing, and, and the rate is just high. It's just a heavy plane, that's all. Are you fueling it correctly? You're not coming down with too much weight, I wonder. Gonna have to tell her the next game isn't stupid, then Steve. <laughs> yeah, I picked up Anno 1800. I'm gonna make a, a Let's Play series on it. That's the plan for next week. Um, but these things don't particularly do very well on my channel. But yeah, it's multiplayer. I think it could be pretty fun multiplayer. For the rest of the week, uh, we are looking tomorrow at OMSI. We've got more Fridays, it's going to be already now. Trains, I think we're doing trains on Friday because we haven't done any trains in a while, so we'll be doing some choo choos. Saturday, I'm looking at snow runners for Saturday. That's still in mind. Uh, possibly could take Sunday off. I haven't decided yet. Something like that. Well, 
I don't make playing videos, no one watches. That's that's the biggest killer to the channel, really. <laughs> Spend all these hours playing games and yeah, no one likes them. <laughs> I'm not very good at editing though. Editing is my biggest problem. If I knew how to make great edits, I probably would do a lot better. Uh, Chris, hello mate, welcome. Nope, using Simbri from Tosis feel correctly. Okay, well we'll have a look. I, I, I find that my landing rates are quite heavy in the uh, in the, in the tow list as well, mate, to be fair. Look at that. That is one sexy aircraft right now, isn't it? Up at cruise, the sun coming down. Yeah, look at that. <coughs> Andy, are you still there on the stream? Are you, are you lurking, mate? Shall we tell the people what they got to do to get this livery? Or should we leave them waiting for a while? Uh, MSF Pilot. Am, am I flying on Vatsim? No, I'm using Pilot to ATC for this one tonight, mate. Pilot to ATC. Ladies and gentlemen, from the cockpit, just to let you know, we've reached our cruise level and we're not anticipating any major delays, so hope to have you at your destination on time as planned. As the cabin crew make their way around the aircraft, please make sure the aisles are clear of any items, and I invite you to free sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Thank you. Now, the only thing about leaving Gatwick with all that fog tonight is that I have the new Orbix South. Well, it's not new, but new to me. And, uh, I didn't even get to see to see the surroundings. <laughs> um, but Chris, hello, mate. You've changed your account, but hello, hello. So is this going to be the permanent livery? Well, I, I don't know how much I should really say, really. I suppose it depends what Andy thinks, what, what, we, what we can tell you about this new livery. But it is currently available. Uh, it is currently available on e the A321 and the A319. Uh, MSF Pilot. Oh, okay, because I always use VATSIM. Nice. Yeah, look, um, VATSIM on streams, I, I, I'm quite stuck for time. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, you can get stuck in holds and stuff. And it's not always easy for me. Look, I have promised people I will do some VATSIM stuff in the near future. Some YouTubers hire people to edit their videos, but then why not edit them yourself? Uh, because, to, to be honest with you, if you had someone else edit them, they'd probably look a lot better <laughs> than if I edited them. Um, but that's different, you know, if you have hundreds of thousands of views, you can probably have a full-time editor. Um, and it, it, look, to be honest with you, when you playing the game is the easy part. Like, I can play a game for an hour, but then I have to edit it down to 20 minutes or so. And it's not always easy. And I'm not very good with all the transition stuff. So that's why flying can be quite easy, because, you know, we just fly. Takes too long. He has circa two hours per night. Yeah. Is this the Chris with the famous 0 0.6? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, I'm really hoping we're not having a night landing. I really thought uh, it would be a bit later in the day. Uh, earlier in the day. It got dark very quickly here all of a sudden. Uh, MSF, uh, MFS pilot. Now, if you ever want to come join the VA, here you go. Join us at simplyconnectva.com. You're more than welcome. It's nice pictures for Iron Beast for his website. This livery will also be available on Microsoft Flight Simulator. As it was confirmed today. So, yeah, this this will be available on our hull fleet, nearly. But yeah, I think she's looking really smart. Okay, we're currently going over Brussels. Heading towards Frankfurt before we start turning down. Heading uh, down to Munich, then obviously, hopefully, going to make our approach today. Uh, Chris, you didn't do anything wrong, but you you managed to get a, a ridiculous landing somehow. They all want to know your secret to the, how how do you get a landing rate that good? What's the leaderboard looking like? And oh, Andy, you're flying, are you? What are you flying? I, I dare look at the live map in case it kills my uh, stream. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look who's flying this evening. Oh, wow, there's loads out. So, Glenby Gaming is somewhere in the Middle East. Uh, Chabs is up in the air. Uh, he didn't know that he could create his own flight plans, but he now knows, so he might do a bit more flying. Uh, Anthony S. 
L L S Z H to E N A L. Nice. Anthony Seaworth. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you joined us yesterday, so it's nice that you are up in the air and flying. I'm up in the air myself, of course, and uh, Main Street's up. Uh, hang on, Andy. What are you flying? Are you flying that bloody Concorde, are you? <laughs> um, edit yourself as time edit professional equals a small streamer will make big streamers can afford to hire a pro yeah and th th that's my biggest killer because actually making the content is easy but it's the editing that uh, it, it can be a bit of a drag to edit uh, the buzz evening mate hello I can't even remember every landing it's usually shocking <laughs> I doubt the passengers even realize you touched down mate yeah uh, I'm not flying x-plane crash jaded today so that needs to be in ah uh, okay yeah, I'm not flying on Vulcan. I'm using OpenGL. For some reason, my Vulcan crashed on me the other day, so I've turned it off for now. Um, apparently, with the new driver update for NVIDIA that was, came out today or yesterday or something, uh, apparently Vulcan is working well again. Uh, but I didn't have time to sort it out before the stream. Yeah, people flying. Yeah, yeah, it's very quiet today. I don't know why it's so quiet. Why is it so quiet, everyone? What are you all doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm really worried that this is going to be a night landing. It really wasn't supposed to be this way. But we have what we have, eh? Hey? So, these new liveries, news will follow suit very soon. But I'm going to fly over it in the meantime, just to wind you guys up. That's just you, you do know about my landing, believe me. <laughs> Damn whiplash. Yeah, well, that's pretty much my, my state of landings these days, too, to be fair. What the hell are those lines in the clouds? Interesting. It looks great. Yeah, oh, I'm beast. You're here. Yep. Yeah. It probably doesn't do as much justice as it does on my screen. On my screen, I'll send you the screenshots because obviously uh, they'll be up, up rated. Um. And it wasn't supposed to be a night landing because we're actually flying into a beautiful area. But anyways, and I, everyone knows I hate night landings. But welcome to the stream, mate. Uh-oh, X-Plane might have crashed, guys. Oh, <laughs> it refreshed itself. Okay, we're lucky. That was nearly a close call. Uh, the little circle happened. I thought, nope, we've lost it. <laughs> All is good. All is good. But yeah, I'm Beast. done a great job. The buzz, is this livery coming for P3D4V? I'm going to buy you X-Plane Buzz. How about that? Because <laughs> uh, P3D is killing us because you're the only one. Um, but yeah, I'm sure Iron Beast can make something up. Oh, okay. Apparently something in EDDL isn't right. What am I missing? No, it doesn't tell me what. Go Dash, hopefully get some flights in tomorrow. See you all later. No worries, Chris. Thank 
Thanks for dropping by. It's the most important part. I've got parent teacher Zoom meeting tomorrow night. Luckily, my kids have their mother's brain and, and her looks. However, they have my attitude. <laughs> Our parents teacher. Oh. Uh, you're very welcome. Glad you liked it. Sorry, mate. Never got around to explain. No problem. So I'll stick with the other livery. It's fine apart from the engines. Is the engine still not right with that livery? I sent you a new one. But the engine's still not good. No, the buzz will make you. Um, you sent me the folder for the the Airbus. I, I will get Iron Beast on it. I have. Uh, I haven't got him to do it yet, but he will. He will have a look for you, mate. Iron Beast is a busy man, but <clears throat> we'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted, Buzz. I'll make sure we get you something, and I will get you at least your Airbus one done as well. The least I can do. Main streets. Hello, mate. Welcome to stream. How's your landings going? Looks like I'm doing a night landing into Innsbruck. It's not really what I anticipated to be doing today. I thought they were white in our final. They were white, yeah. Uh, flight's going okay. Um, it got dark very quickly. Like it should. I, I took off at half two in the afternoon. I haven't been in the air that long, so I'm a bit concerned why we've got so dark. But anyways. It's a good report. I promised my oldest a new phone. Oof. You're very kind, Dad. I can have a good report. They've been at home most of the year. You just cost yourself a new phone. <laughs> but yeah, the buzz, look, we'll, we'll, we'll sort you out the Airbus one as well. I need to... No worries, Richard. I see you've gone on a dispute for your landing rate. Poor Andy. <laughs> poor, poor Andy. Uh, minus 210. If I get a 210, I'd be pretty happy to. I, I, I really need a good 150 here, but this is not the easiest, and it's at night. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what will happen. Am I losing frames on the stream? It looks very jaggy on my screen. Uh, as you know, I was catching a bit, mate. No probs. I know I'm an outside on P3D, but I even prefer it to Microsoft Flight Sim at the moment. Yeah, look, that's fine, mate. Look, we'll make sure we get you the Airbus done. Contact Langen Radar Center on 118.75. Enjoy. Center on 118.75. Simply 10. Okay, I'm good because on my screen here, that kind of gives me the preview. is really jaggy. Hey, you never do answer what he does when he disappears. At flight level 320. Simply 1025, good afternoon. Radar contact. Good afternoon. <coughs> yeah, so the buzz will sort you out, mate. It's not fair that everyone else gets delivery and you don't. So look, we'll, I'll make sure we sort you out. Don't worry. Might be myself still a game, not a sim layer. Needs a lot of improvements to be. <coughs> yeah, I mean, look, there's the, the big row of that. Uh, but the CRJ's got a release date now, guys. The 16th of March, I believe. Uh, I was turned down by Aerosoft for a copy for early access, of course. Um, no surprise. Uh, but yeah, the 16th, and it's going to be 42 euros. 
and it will um and if you want the upgraded part that's going to come a little bit later down the line the uh, the 900 and the thousand i think it is uh, it's going to be an extra 1675 on top for the other two variants my opinion myself still game yep uh, even though all sorry i'm late guess who turned the pc off last night forgetting that they were installed 140 oh pfft. <laughs> yeah not good mate Radar contact. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, not good, Ross. Why are you re downloading Microsoft Flight Simulator, anyways? I keep seeing everybody in the forums. Oh, I've had to do a re download, re download. I've never had one CTI. I've never had the game crash on me live or anything like that. The only problem I had is with the mechanics of the game. I don't know why people. I think people are adding too much stuff to it, and it's it's not it's it's not ready for that yet. I mean, I have a few add-ons and stuff, but I don't go too nuts. I think people maybe are going a bit over the top with all those files. Like, my my file is empty. Like, if I I always look for a freeway airport if I can. I'll add it in, but after the flight, I'll delete it or move it out into a separate folder that I can just drag it back when I want to, when I need it. And I, basically, my my Microsoft Flight Simulator loads in like three seconds now. I just keep my couple of liveries that I want. Now, if you find Vatsim, you need the Mega Pack. Unfortunately, that's about 10 gigabyte of liveries, but. <clears throat> uh, it's pretty buggy than an ant farm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, most of Iceman is good too. Look, yesterday, you know, it was a lot busier streaming than this evening, so people like it, they want to watch it. I will have to do some more streaming on Microsoft Flight Simulator, even if it kills me. Uh, Ross, that again, that's very, that's really strange because I keep my community folder away from the separate game on my M2E drive, um, and I don't get any issues. The A330, the, the only thing that was conflicting um, was that you had to delete the 32 and X from Flyby Y, otherwise the A330 wouldn't work. Because I actually keep mine on a separate file, on a separate disk to the main game. The main game's on an F drive, and the community and the mod folder is on a G drive. Um, People add too much stuff, they have unstable overclocks, very finicky, yeah. Well, there we go, the, the experts told us. And the Buzz and P3D leading the way on landing rate this month. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. I, I need a good landing tonight, guys. I, I need a good 150 to stay in the race, otherwise I'm done. I had a pretty rough one earlier today. Uh, Richard, you're back. Hello, mate. Welcome back. Did you cook a turn up yet? Connor Gurney, hello, mate. Welcome. I really need to change my nightbot, don't I? I? Haven't decided what to do for the members this month. Do you want? Do we want another kind of gift card giveaway? Do you want a Steam voucher? Do, what, 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 what would people like as a giveaway for members? I need to think about it this month. <clears throat> yeah, everyone seems to be getting early access to the Spitfire now, apart from me. After I asked them, and also I've probably been declined. Unfortunately, my channel's just not big enough. Guys, help me grow. Start spreading the word about my channel. Help me out here. Come on. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a nighttime landing. <sighs> this is brutal. This is not what I wanted for this flight. Good day, mate. Didn't have the A32 mod. All the data is installed as app data folder called C drive and the actual game is installed on dedicated SSD. Yeah, Ross, so mine's kind of the same. Uh, bad idea. This is not the B738. Yes, I don't know what it is. My Fly Live Studio, even though I automatically manually change it, it goes back to the B738. I, I can't change it. I it just does not work. <laughs> Rachel Riley. <laughs> Who would want Rachel Riley? Yeah, so yeah, I do apologize, mate. Yeah, it's not the B738. This is the Totus A319. Um, but the only the only simulator that can make it change, believe it or not, is Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> um, but I've manually changed it this evening, and again, it just goes straight back to B738. Maybe I need to do something with Zoo, uh, the XCUIP. Maybe it needs to be updated or something. I will have a look. <laughs> Everyone wants Rachel Riley now. <laughs> so yeah, there's gonna be a nighttime approach. Pretty gutted. Maybe it'll still look nice though.
you have you have changed it manually. Yeah, I try changing it manually and it just changes back. Something it, it's not something's conflicting with it on my X plane. I don't know what it is. Um, I will have a look. It's been on my to do list and I keep forgetting. I gave you a shout yesterday. Stephen was there. Big crowd. Oh yeah, true. Down the deep noise, mate. Catch you later. See you Will. Everyone's leaving now. Maybe we should just try and land at the nearest airport. <laughs> Love delivery. Yeah, delivery's looking good. Andy said I'm not allowed to tell you what, what our plans are with it yet. So you have to wait a little bit longer. <coughs> uh, you heard the people, you know what we want. <laughs> yeah, I know what you want, but giving it to you is another thing. Tim Wears, just subscribe to the channel. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated if you're on the stream there or not. Thank you, thank you. If anyone is new there, want to come join the Discord, you're more than welcome. Link in the description down below. If you want to come join the airliner, simply connect. There we go, I've even advertised it now. Simply connect va.com. Okay, these are all coming from earlier in the day. Sam, welcome to the channel, mate. Thank you for the description as well if you're watching. Uh, change my state to the <laughs> Cheers, mate. Hope we can see the mountainsides when we're coming down. Yeah, it's pretty annoying that it doesn't change. I wonder what's making it. Because like I said, it works well with Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's telling you that you need to fly the Zebo again. Oh, we know what happened the last time I flew the Zebo. That was that was worse than the Dash 8 landing, I think. <laughs> yeah, I have promised myself to try and land the Zebo again. It's been a while. I was going to do some Dash 8 next week. That was the plan. Going to fly the Dash 8 once or twice. Maybe take Andy on a co pilot on the Dash. <laughs> Give the zero another try. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's what it's wanting. Uh, everyone just wants me to ruin my landing rate because for once it's actually okay. Okay, we're nearly in Frankfurt where we'll be heading downwards towards Munich. You need the power in later than the Airbus. Yeah, the dynamics are a little bit different with Boeing. Boeings tend to float a bit more than Airbus. I find Airbus kind of drop a bit better. Line Antonov. There is an Antonov around, I believe, Glenn. I think you might have to go for Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> and then you gotta do all your world updates afterwards, Richard, or is that just the world updates that are left? Oh, 
can't believe we're flying in at night. I'm gonna have to do this again during the day so we can actually see the sights. Uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can get the, the X-Plane store up. I'm sure there's some sort of Russian bird there. Have a look. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. There's a Tupolev TU-154. Maybe that's what I saw. Pains by Russia. Yeah, that's what I saw the other day. So the Tupolev TU... 154, currently on sale as well. Change time of day. That's no, okay, we might as well do a night landing. Why not? Yeah, Scott, goodbye, mate. Emma came in and said, uh, Maya's talking about you to Aunt Joe again. <laughs> <clears throat> the thing I like about night flights is the lights of towns and cities below. Yeah, but we got the Orbix. <laughs> um, airport an area for this landing it's a beautiful mountain landing and uh yeah and we're flying in a bloody night time russian bird <laughs> watch the pilot on youtube showing how to land the a320 near he did he speed at speed to one two three knots on landing i thought it was between 134 one two three is i watched a pilot on youtube is he a real pilot because i doubt that's real the, the landing speed is about one 139, 137-ish is probably the lowest you can go with the A320neo. Let's see if we can get that. I mean, going down that slow because it's, it's a sim, it probably stay up in the air, so you know you get a better landing rate. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, I thought there was one. I'll have to have a little bit of a dig around, Glenn. I'm sure there was something. What do you prefer, night landings or day landings? Daytime. Night landings, I, I can't judge the runways very well, so I'm probably going to destroy my landing rate. Maybe I just need to take a few days, a week or so, to sit in YouTube tutorials. But Ross, all you have to do is import your Simbri flight plan. <coughs> yeah, it's a real pilot from pilot school showing you part of the flight academy. Well, I don't know, it's news to me. Okay, just for a second, I'm just going to change my, my stream around. Typical land speed of an 320 is 130-140s. We get it depends on these following factors. Speed is consistent. Check weather conditions, altitude. Yeah, I don't think they can go much further than under than 130.
I find if you go if you're on strong winds and you're not over 139 then the winds will take the plane I don't know Okay, now we can't bloody see a thing. <laughs> Literally nothing to see. I think the best view is probably in here now. I don't know. <clears throat> you tend to watch videos. Yeah, I tend to just talk to you guys. I can use Simbrief already, so I guess that's a good start. I just hate the in-flight computer thing. Well, Ross, I've done a tutorial on how to set up the flight planning uh, if you're doing it yourself. That's not even showing you the quick way with uh, Simbrief loading. But all you have to do is, once you've done your Simbrief, you just export the FMS file, and you put it into the Outputs folder in X-Plane. And then when you come down here, when you bring up your FMC and you're on your init page, it just asks you to XP plan and you just click on load I'm not allowed because we're in the air but you just click on load and then it'll give you the flight plan wherever your numbers are that you saved it as and you click on it and it brings up everything for you pretty much all you're doing is you're sitting stars Jasp, hello mate, welcome to the stream how am I? I'm doing well, how are you mate? Uh, fortunately we're doing a nighttime landing. I completely messed uh, my time of day up here. I don't tend to import the flight plan. <clears throat> yeah, look, I, I I can do it the other way as well, but like this this has a lot of SIDs and stars and we'll be thirty minutes trying to get off the ground if I if I didn't. Um so yeah, so it depends. If it's kind of like it hasn't got too many too many waypoints, then yeah, I'll do it manually. But if it's got a ton of them, then yeah, I have to do it. This way. What's the difference between the two load buttons and the unit page? Good question. That didn't sound good. Uh, I don't know. I didn't notice that before, actually. Question I have no answer for. <laughs> the approach chart you have on your plane, does it connect to Navigraph's description? Yes. So here we go. So this is like you with your thousand tablets. I've just got the one that I need here and I can bring up anything I want. Uh, and I can pinpoint myself on it as well. So look, I know that we have to be at 9,500 by RTT, uh, which is fine. So we have to be at full configuration by this point, guys. You gotta remember, people forget they come down and they forget, even though it's so far out, that this has to be your full config by the time you take over at W1002 as we head into Innisbrook. Otherwise, you're going to come in super fast. Uh, 
Uh, they're both loading the flight plan. Well, there we go then. So happy days. Load is a previous save flight XP. Load is the same flight plan, isn't it? Or maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, I delete them after a stream. Like I don't keep that folder full, so I don't go looking for them. So yeah, maybe. Sounds about right. Is there a stream where you don't bash my multiple screens? No, 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 not at all. But you know, there's another reason why your Microsoft might be going a bit funny. You might be doing uh, too much connected to it. Like I said, right now, what I have connected to this and what I always have connected are very few simple programs. I, I you know, I keep everything to a minimum. I use X organizer of X plane, so I turn off scenery and stuff I'm not using. Like, there's no point in me having airports all over Europe if I'm not going to land them. Now, they're in my folder, but my X organizer can turn them off. And I only pick the ones I'm using. It helps my load times, all that other kind of jazz. Yeah, you shouldn't break with tradition. No, no, we shouldn't break with tradition. You're right. What well, takes three days to install? Like I said, I've never had to do a full reinstall. I've never do. I, I like I read the forums quite a lot, and I see people oh install again, reinstall, reinstall. What's broken with the game is that you're breaking it yourself. Uh, I think people are adding way too much stuff that they don't need. Like I said, that's one thing I like about X Organizer for X Plane. I can turn off everything. Uh, what's the bit? I'm not on any beer. I'm not allowed to drink beer for about two weeks because of the change of medication. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, I, I can't, um, I can't drink beer at the moment. So yeah, we're on Coke. Needed a bit of sugar. It's feeling a bit tired, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look, it, pff, he's a real pilot. He must know what he's doing. Maybe it can go down that low. Maybe it can. Will James knows he probably he probably floats down at that speed. He left, didn't he? Oh, new weather loading in. Uh, you can do the same with add-on linker. Yep, yeah, you can. Yeah. There's still, <coughs> I think people just put too much crap in there. Like I said. I have a separate folder away from it, so I only have to download it once, and I just move it between folders. So I have a folder away from the actual game of airports that I liked that I've downloaded, or any scenery or any other add-ons, and I just move them in when I use them, and I only use what I'm going to use for my streams. You can have both ginger beer. I don't like ginger beer. I really don't. Tea. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big tea. I'm more of a coffee drinker if I have to drink hot drinks. But yeah, so no beer for a little while, guys, I'm afraid. But my own, but I've got some nice new ones I wanted to try in the fridge, keeping cold. <clears throat> the loader airspeed doesn't mean you'll come in with a nose higher, making it easy to touch down, maybe. Well, yeah, obviously the aircraft is going to pitch. Now, the, the air, what, what's good about the Airbus is it corrects in real life. It corrects any bank angles. It corrects pitch and... The computer on board is a safety mechanism, so yeah, if it will the it will pitch up. It'll have to pitch up, but uh, I don't think it's good practice to come in at one, two, three. You know what? So you know what you should do is ask the pilot in the Discord, the two pilots in there who fly Airbuses. Ask them. Be interesting. Send them the link. It'd be interesting to see what they say. Will lets the FMC choose his landing speeds. Okay. <coughs> Uh, tears brew of the gods. <laughs> I love gravy. I can drink like a, a cup of gravy, easy. Chicken gravy. Oh, love chicken gravy.
Van Dyke, you should only fly three degrees, but you can't really see three degrees on the screen in front of you. <clears throat> well, obviously, they are looking at this. You know, that's five degrees. That's ten degrees. That's two and a half degrees. So if you aim for this white line just above it, that 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 that's your indicator. That white line is your your flare indicator, really. But again. It, it's different on different approaches like if you look here on this chart for today's flight you're going to see that the the angle of attack for this one is 3.50 so we're very steep coming into here so you know it would be different we might have to flare a little bit more to make sure we hit the piano keys you know every every airport situation is different and it can be weather can be dependent I have chicken gravy on everything as well, mate. I love chicken gravy. I don't like beef gravy as much. If I have to have it, I have it. But yeah, chicken gravy all day long. Well, obviously you're flaring too much. You know, if you click on these screens, they pop out. So if you want to at home, you know, you'll be able to see your, your angle here. So you know that you're aiming for this white bit as you're coming in. You already know you're straight, you're nearly there, you're hearing 50, 40. Engines have come back around 50, 40. Engines are coming off. And then you're gonna hear 20. Retard, retard. As soon as you hear that retard, that's when you want to just pitch that nose up just a little bit. And that's it. What do you use to control the plane? I am using the Airbus Thrustmaster stick. Here you go. Don't know if you can actually see it. What I am using. Some people have asked me to get a second camera to watch me switch cameras when I land. I know people like Captain Canada and stuff do that. If that's something people really want, we can do that. Enjoy your afternoon. Center on one two zero point six five. Simply one zero two five. Yeah, again, that's true. Look, in real life, I'm sure it feels a lot different when you can feel the aircraft in your hands. We're not getting that same sensation. Center simply one zero two five at flight level three two zero. Simply one zero. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> God, some people in the south. I don't know if we drink proper, leave the bag in for a fortnight, yeah. Yeah, you you're pulling back way too much. Even if you watch this come in now, once you hear the retard, retard, you're barely gonna see the plane rise. You're gonna see it level off, and then you're gonna just see a very slight nose. You're probably yanking back too much. <clears throat> Like, you don't want the, you know, your nose isn't going to, that's not your flare. You're not flaring up for takeoff. Just a small flare as you come in. Like I said, if you pop the screen out, think about it. That, that's that's the line, and that's not going to take very much off the stick now to to get that to go up to that line. I just realized when that pops out, I'm in the way. There we go. So yeah, you're only looking at that line there. That's your flare line. That's two and a half degrees So, you know, you're flaring around three. You don't want to be over five. You're probably more up here You know, you, you really want to be in the middle or less That's what you're aiming for Sheffield built Villa. Oh, well, <laughs> Jesus Because of how much money I put into a flight simulator, I don't feel like I should put time and effort into X Plane 11, even though I only bought it on October. No, mate, I fly between all of them. Everybody on the VA switches between them. Expect the TULS 3 Alpha arrival with the Tulsi transition for the RNAV approach to runway 26 after Manal cleared direct Tulsi simply 1025. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's 
Um, so yeah, as I was saying, everybody in the VA switches between them. Like, if you can fly one, you can fly the other. If you can learn X-Plane, you can fly any of them. Realistically. You know, Microsoft Flight Simulator is the easier one. But look how much issues you're having. Even Chris this who was on earlier. You know, he was a bit against X-Plane 11. He kind of felt the same as you. Uh, <clears throat> he actually did, he tried it and he walked away for about a week. He said, no, I'm not, I'm not liking it. Um, because it was his first time on a simulator when he bought Microsoft Flight Simulator. It was the first time we ever done flight simulating. He came back to me about two weeks ago and says it was the best change he ever made. Like, he is getting the hang of it now. He understands why we all think it's better. The modeling, the flight dynamics, the physics. I, I agree with Main Streets. I do believe current state Microsoft Flight Simulator is still very gamey to me. Like, I flew the default A320 last night. Well, it was the A330, but they're using the default. And you don't have to do anything. You know, that's, that's, that's not simulation. That's, that's having fun. That, that's someone that's never flown a plane or wants to try and fly a plane. And most people that do that mainly use the small planes and bush fly, you know? <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know. Look, every, everyone to themselves. I, I, you're not going to beat X-Plane for the physics. I have all the Orbix stuff and X-Plane looks beautiful. Like, unfortunately, it was so cloudy coming out of Gatwick. I couldn't show you, but yeah. Oh yeah, Main Streets. Well, look, Andy. Andy was a huge Microsoft flight simmer. Uh, he was quite against X-Plane and he just picked it up because it was on that sale. And I haven't seen him fly much Microsoft flight simulator since. Uh, Richard kind of does the same thing. You know, I haven't seen him fly much Microsoft flight simulator. I don't know if that's just because it's broken. Um, yeah, see, there we go. <coughs> this, is the, this is it, isn't it? You know, you got to take out Yes, graphically on the floor, it doesn't look as good. But that's just Bing imagery. You know, you can use Orpho 4X on this, which is free. And you can have that kind of photogrammic imagery on the floor. Okay, it's still not the same, but it's decent. I'm trying to think, how, who else did we convert? Yeah, see, the Orbix. Unfortunately, I couldn't show the Orbix coming out of Gatwick. It would have been lovely to have seen the Orbix. And even the Orbix into this, this approach is supposed to be lovely. But unfortunately, I balls this up now. Okay, apparently we're hitting top of descent. Okay, <clears throat> we should start descending. Flight to ATC might have a heart attack, but I think they want me to drop too fast. Let's have a look what Pilot to ATC is saying. No, it says that we are at the top of descent now as well. Simply one there we go. Two five, climb and maintain flight level Wait. Three, two, zero. Climb and maintain flight level three two zero. Simply one zero two five. Oh, the top of the descent is literally like two miles away. There we go. Then descend via the TULS three alpha arrival with the Tulsi transition to flight level zero nine or five altimeter. Zero nine or five. Yep, perfect. We'll cross Tulsi at flight level one eight zero. Then descend via the TULS three alpha arrival with the Tulsi transition to flight level zero nine or five altimeter three zero three two. Simply one zero two five. Okay, there's a lot to take in there. Okay, all is good there though. <coughs> Explains great. Also run by a guy who cares far more about physics than money. Explains sure great. Also run by a guy who cares more about physics. Than, yeah, the explain is by a, 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 a flight enthusiast. Explain is from money bags. Said before, I'll be down with a basic squid. Well, yeah, I'm not sure your wife will let you, mate. Personally, not fussed about the graphics and explain. It's all about the flight. Yeah, and look, I don't think the graphics are that bad, and you, there are a lot of things there that can make them better. The only thing explain is missing is a decent tutorial. Yeah, but I suppose, you know, gives content and creators a chance, eh? <laughs> you know, the, the, the few tutorials I have made, no one watches.
Is my cockpit broken here? Or is it the lights? Interesting. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look, <coughs> everyone will have different opinions. I like both, um, but I, I still don't think you can beat X-Plane. Ortho 4X. I'll send you a link, Richard. So basically, you can create photogrammetry tree tiles wherever you want in the world, and you have to put them into your X-Plane. It's a little bit fiddly with the files, but once you've done it once, you're okay. <laughs> Yeah, cheers, Glenn. <laughs> terrain, pull up. Terrain, terrain. Yeah, my favourite warning, that. But yeah, pretty much everybody in the Discord that joined my channel was because of Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I have most of them flying X-Plane. Not by choice. I didn't force anyone. Everyone just kind of asked me, and I'm like, yeah, look, I like X-Plane. Harvey, hello. How's the Orbix? Uh, we won't know now because it's absolutely pitch black. <clears throat> I made a mistake on my flight times. I forgot that we we're going into the east, so obviously it was going to get darker quicker. I kind of wanted an early evening landing, so I messed this up a little bit. But you know, night landing, we still might see some, some mountains and stuff. I don't know. Uh, no worries, Richard. Even drone because of OMSI. Well, look. <coughs> yeah, now you're flying. There's a few bus drivers there that came in from OMSI as well, and they've ended up flying. Look, I find that most people, we all, if you know, if you like kind of planes, trains, or buses, you kind of like all the other ones as well. I find that we're all very similar. Yeah, we're not going to see anything, are we? Jesus. Okay, I will redo this flight with the dash. And we'll try and do this approach with the dash. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, fly down to Heathrow to see if I can get in the leaderboard. <clears throat> well, hopefully I don't balls up my leaderboard here now. On to this, I'm not going to get down in time for the RTT. And just. You gotta remember, we have to be at full config by WI002. So once we start coming in here, I mean, where our speeds already dropped quite low. So the, the Mac do is doing better than what it did for me earlier. Yeah, hopefully, I, st I, I should be able to stand leaderboard unless I do like a 1000 landing. I don't think it would be that bad, but I don't like landing at night, I must admit. It's not my favorite. Uh, Harvey, you need a, a special plug-in to get it to work with the TOLIS. Um, I don't know which one it is. I don't have it. But we will put on the terrain one once we get down under 10,000 feet because, yeah, we are going into a mountainous area, as you can see here. We're just about to come into it all. Uh, Ross, no, mate. Catch you later. You're about to miss the best bit.
And if any of you have never done an RNAV landing, or an RMP now that they're called, um, I, basically I'm going to show you how to do it, because this is an RNAV landing. So basically with an RNAV, it's not going to bring you all the way in, but it's going to bring us lined up most of the way in, and it'll disconnect by itself, probably about 300 feet off the floor or so. Um, but you do not press this LS button. All we need to do is literally, we know this is our R nav. You can see it's an orange here. Okay, our descending is a bit off here, isn't it? We may have to bring her down faster than she's going down. We'll have to have a look in a second. Um, basically, all we're going to press is the approach button when we get close, and it'll just automatically lock on. We're going to see it's going to say something different up here. And you're going to get a green kind of box. You, you don't get the diamonds. Uh, kind of going, how's your week going? Yeah, it's not bad, mate. Not bad. We're surviving. <laughs> okay, let's uh, first notch a flaps it. Hang on, what's on zero? Oh yeah, we can't until we get down under. Simply one zero two five contact Innsbruck radar control on one one niner point two seven. This this nice this descent is radar not working out for us. One one niner point two seven simply one zero two five. Okay. Radar control simply 1025 descending to 9500 feet. Simply 1025 good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue descent via the TULS 3 Alpha arrival. For the RNAV approach to runway 26 at Innsbruck. Continue descent via the TULS 3 Alpha arrival. For the RNAV approach to runway 26 simply 1025. I'll be honest. I'll be into CCS about 8 tomorrow because of the parent teacher Zoom. So you can get Salah take away. Oh no, it's Stephen Bradley. Prop, that'd be awesome. I forgot about that. I actually, to ask you about that. Uh, press program on the Monday to tell you V day. Yeah, the V day is there. It's just, it's not, it's not going down as fast as I'd like. So we're just going to help speed it up a little bit. All I've done is I've whacked on the speed brake to just counter the drop. I'm now dropping us down at 2,900. As you can see, we're now bringing it back. Uh, once I get it back just a little bit more, I'll let it continue doing its own thing. As like I said, we need to be at full config by this point. Otherwise, you're going to battle. <coughs> yeah, we're not even going to be able to see the bloody mountains. And uh, we will put on our terrain radar, because we are, will be getting pretty close to them. You can see they're in green now, so we're getting close to some. <laughs> yeah, terrain, terrain. Won't, won't be long. Simply 1025 altimeter 3032 cleared for the RNAV approach to runway 26 at Innsbruck contact radar control on 119.27 good afternoon. Altimeter 3032 cleared for the RNAV approach to runway 26 radar control on 119.27 simply 1025.
Okay, we've now come down. So I'm gonna let it calm itself down a little bit, keep our speed brake on. Because I might as well just control my own bloody speed as well. Simply 1025 altimeter 3032 at Innsbruck contact tower on 120.1. .1. Have a good afternoon. Altimeter 3032 tower on 120.1 .1, simply 1025. Okay, flaps 1. Tower simply 1025 inbound for RNAV approach. Flaps 2. Simply 1025, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue an aid to runway 26 call when established on final. Continue RNAV to runway 26 will call when established on final simply 1025. Down to 141, one, flaps 3. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is press approach. You can see at nav up here and you'll see it will change once it goes past this point. Okay, that's what we're kind of waiting for. Okay, so, messing me around a little bit here. Okay, let's throw on our landing lights. I'm catching up with the glide slope. That's what I'm trying to do because uh, we're a little bit behind. So once it captures that, there won't be a problem. So you can see now it should... Okay, so we are on final approach. Good news. Dive, dive, dive. Yeah, full time nil nil. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so we are now descending. Uh, we were at our full config, uh, so everything is good. We had to catch up with the glide slope there. My own fault. Um, everything else is looking good. We're falling down. Landing lights are on. Probes are still on up there. That's okay. That's all good. Okay, so auto brake set to medium. Spoilers are armed. We're at full fig ration config. Um, we won't gear down just yet. We'll gear down in a little bit. Runway is actually in sight now. See it. But this is some beautiful mountains either side here with Orbix. You just can't see it. <coughs> yeah. Okay, get down. Cabin crew, please take your seats for landing. Thank you. 
Here she goes. So we will do this flight again with the Dash 8 in the daytime. As you can see, here we go. <clears throat> uh, Main streets, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Andy. Andy's the man when it comes to that stuff. You just have to ping him a quick message. Because I'm going to be the same now. I'm coming in. Uh, P HP's timed out. Yeah, hang on. I don't know if Andy's still there. We'll have to wait for a response from Mr. Andy. Yeah, mine's actually saying uh, timed out. But it still follows you. Even though it says like timed out, timed out, trying again. Uh, you just keep, keep it going. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're at full landing configuration. We are waiting. This is the slowest approach ever. This would have been beautiful if we could see the hills. Yeah, the site's come down. I've just pinged Andy a message there. He's not online, though. Um, even though it's gone down, what happens is they will manually save themselves, so he, he can fix them afterwards. So he will add it to any scores. Okay, minimum's runway in sight. 2, there you go, 2,500. <coughs> 255. <coughs> now I'm hoping for 100 here, but yeah, I don't like nighttime landing, so we'll see. Who does Innisbrook at night? Only I would do that, wouldn't it? Or bloody Muppet. One nine five. I could do it with a one nine five here. <coughs> I reckon around two fifty. Yeah, so I will do the same approach again, maybe on the other side, but I will do it the Dash 8 next week. That'd be even more interesting. <coughs> Can't fly that thing as it is. Yeah, the last time I did this on Microsoft Flight Simulator, yeah, we had to spend a bit of time going around, didn't we? The RNAV didn't work. Well, I know he balls up the RNAV on this one too, to be fair. So how RNAV works, if anyone doesn't know RNAV that is there and want to learn it, it's it's the same as ILS to an extent. After about maybe three or four hundred, it'll disconnect itself. You'll hear it just go do 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 do, and you have to manually bring it in. You bring it in yourself from this point on. You're only a thousand, well, you're fifteen hundred feet out. You're not too bad here. Um, so yeah, so if you are doing RNAV, you can leave it, but yeah, it will disconnect the autopilot before you get down. I can show you that, or I can take over. I don't really care. <clears throat> so that's how the RNAV works. Can't remember what point in disconnection, maybe about 700. But we're still coming at a steep angle because we're still a thousand out, but we're quite close now. What makes Innisbrook so exciting? So we bring it in ourselves. Simply one zero two five winds are light and variable clear to land runway two six. Clear to land runway two six simply one zero two five. Okay, we have control. Five hundred. Four hundred. 
But there we go. At that point, it would have kicked out. So 400. If you hadn't already, that's when it would have disconnected. We're coming in okay. Oh, slammed it down. Simply one zero two five exit runway when able. Two nine five. Ah, oh, that was our exit. I was trying to watch the other screen to see what my landing rate was. Okay, let's turn on our taxi lights because I can't see bloody nothing. Uh, strobes off. Landing lights off. There we go. Yeah, you know what I did there? So basically, I saw the markers and uh, I was about to miss the marker from coming down properly, so I slammed it a bit. It was my fault. 295 is okay. We won't complain about 295. Not here. Not on my channel. I would rather done it in the daytime. I don't like night flying. I just can't do it. <laughs> it's just all too dark. It's not like a little bit dark. It is just pitch black. But yeah, it was my own fault. <clears throat> I was coming in. It was actually coming in really steep. And then I lifted the nose too high. And uh, I tried to fix myself. But it wasn't going to happen in time. Okay, park and brake set. So that's what makes this one so difficult. It is literally that. So I came in so steep and then what I tried to do, I tried to bring myself up just to kind of level myself up, but then I realized I was going to miss all the markers. Yeah, and it just went wrong from that point, really. Not a bad landing though, 295, I'll take that. It was a firm landing. Nothing nothing excessive. Uh, website's back up. Okay, so it's back up just in time for me to file this then, obviously. Awesome. So yeah, <clears throat> I will do this flight again, but I'm going to do it. Um, it's too dark, so I'm I'm going to do it again with a dash eight. Let's see how much did that destroy my landing rate. Two seven three now is my average. Yeah, so I've dropped down my leaderboard a little bit here now. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, so there you go. There we have it. Uh, it's not my best landing, but it is a landing. Uh, I'm still on the leaderboard. How long I stay on the leaderboard will go down every day of the month. Um, <clears throat> not still not doing particularly well though. Yeah, if I can keep under three hundred, I'd be happy. That that that's not bad if I can keep under three hundred. All month long is pretty difficult. Uh, but thank you to everyone that hung out this evening. Thank you to all the mods and members, everybody in the chat. Um, been a pleasure as always. Hopefully, uh, we'll do a bit of bus driving tomorrow night. We'll see how that goes. Uh, do trains on Friday, like I said, and we'll see what happens for the weekend. Um, but thank you all for watching. And like I said, next time I do this, I'll make sure it's in the daytime so we can actually see the orbit scenery. And uh, I'll also, um, I think we're going to do it in the Dash 8. So I think it'd be even more interesting in the Dash because I'm not very good with that plane. Uh, but thank you all guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.